Good morning. It is like 9.45. We barely woke up. I'm on, well, that's where my friend Ashley has been sleeping. I'm on my sofa bed. <laughs> About to drink lemon water. Um, by the way, drink lemon water every morning. It's good for you. I'm drinking it because I'm about to go for a run because I need to get ready for the big day today. We have to get ready. Um, so I want to make sure I feel good in my dress, which is why I'm going running this morning. <laughs> so let's get the day started. I lied, this is actually the real reason I went running this morning. <laughs> So we actually went to the hideaway for dinner before the award summer. The chips and the beans were delicious and the ambiance is amazing. I do appreciate they had vegan options, but the actual chile relleno, the main entree, they only had one. And honestly, I could make a better one. I kind of wish I could tell the chef, but the handmade tortillas are amazing. So it's just cute for vibes. So then we went over to the Writers Guild where the event was actually starting and that was really cool. And of course I had to take a photo and you know, put your name there first to make sure that they can like, you know, name you once the photo is published. But that was kind of cool. And of course I had to get one with my parents as well. Can't wait to see these photos, how they turned out. And you know, they were serving drinks and stuff. I was enjoying one of course, and they had gift bags. Sadly, nothing really was vegan, so whatever. But then it was time to go into the ceremony to watch it start. Best reality series. Oh my God. Home to over 9 million people, Mexico City is the largest populated city in North America. And when it comes to food, they know how to throw it down. But can this city also master a vegan scene? I'm Eunice, and I'm going to show you where to eat iconic vegan Mexican dishes, their stories, and what sites you need to see. Let's go. Hi, so first I want to say thank you. Um, so when I first started this project of mine, I literally had an iPhone 7. I had a big dream to show people how exciting vegan food could look like because I had just become plant-based. And I also had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> and early on when you start these kind of problems, that everyone's familiar with like content creation, there's a lot of times where you wonder if you're even, pro even providing value because there's a lot of months and sometimes years where you feel like no one's watching. And it's, it's really hard, but I'm really grateful for God and my family and my friends who believed in me more than I believed in myself and who just give you that space for dreaming and creativity. So I'm really grateful and thankful for this opportunity for being recognized for the vegan in Mexico City, which honestly, if you have not been to Mexico City, A, go, because it's a lot of fun, and B, try the vegan food, because it is some of the best vegan food you will ever have, and I've traveled quite a bit. <laughs> So thank you again, and I'm just really thankful to be here. And then they announced that I won another award, Breakout Foodie of the Year. Your award goes to Vegan in Mexico City by Rated V Food. about is telling people that when you go and transition to a plant-based diet or vegan or you don't have to give up anything that you grew up eating right and just to give you an idea of how good the food was in Mexico City um, I might have eaten like 12 tacos one day and maybe some tamales and I might have had to unzip my pants to make it a real fit but it was 100% worth it <laughs> but you know they have, they do an amazing job of like I mean if you've ever been to Mexico City or just Mexican City street food is you know, al pastor, they did that vegan. They had the morcajete vegan. They had so many things. I'm not Mexican, but I am Latina. And just like, food is so important in our culture. So that's just something I just want to share with everyone. It's like, yeah, you can have anything you want and choose a different lifestyle like a veganism, right? So thank you again for this opportunity. Hey, we just got out of the ceremony. 
we're hungry. We smell food and we're like, <laughs> we're so hungry. <laughs> story of our lives. We hope there's something vegan. <laughs> Hold it up, girl. What'd you get? Alright, I got one, two medals. <laughs> So after some photos that I took with my medals, there was obviously no vegan options there. So we went to BCD Tofu House in Koreatown because that was the only thing open at 10.30 at night for a vegan Korean food because you know that's my favorite. They had um, the vegan sundubu like tofu soup, the hot tofu soup, which is my favorite with of course rice. It was delicious, so flavorful. They have It's called water-based broth, so you think it's not gonna have a lot of flavor, but it is. And they had bibimbap too with tofu and veggies. Those are very vegan friendly options. They're so good. Just know that you can't have the kimchi because the kimchi has fish sauce, which I, was really hard for me to resist because I love kimchi, but the japchae is also good. So I'm back home now with my two awards. However, I'm quite upset that Oprah was not there. We got an email saying Oprah was gonna present. She was not there. <laughs> it was very sad, but I am just, very grateful to have had this experience. It was something different. I didn't know what to expect. So it was kind of cool to be able to take the photos and everything. It's just, and it was very cool to hear everybody's stories, how these were passion projects that they've been doing forever. So it's like, you know, living out a big dream or goal is very possible. Like you can do anything you set your mind to. And I feel like this has been like a little stepping stone toward like the next thing, the next big thing that I want to do. So I'm very grateful. And it was just really cool to meet a bunch of other people who are on the same track. And of course, thank you to everybody who's always supported me and every friend who's ever held a camera for me and taken my direction and my, uh, my, what is it? My high maintenance side. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you all for watching these videos because honestly, if you hadn't been watching, then I have no one to show them to, right? So thank you so much and I'll be making a video soon.